So watch this. He tried to connect, right? But you see, he did start up. What's the first file? The first file that, 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 needs, that needs to be read is what? Your SP file, right? He can't even start up. I mean, he can't even start the database. There's a problem with one of the parameters in here. It's a memory target not supported on this system. Hmm. So let's see. So let's exit. Oh, this is not even a big deal. Hmm. I thought it was going to be a bigger deal. All right. So let me cat the dot bash profile. Okay, you have stage, right? Okay, let's do echo dollar. I don't think this is. I'll go to SID stage. Let's source dot bash. Okay, so all right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is this. He's having a problem with a memory target. Let us do this. So now let us create a P file. I do create P file from SP file. Right? Okay, so now I'm gonna exit. Then I'm gonna CD to my what? Oracle Home slash BBS. Do LS. Now I'm looking for my what? P file, which is what? VI init stage dot R. That is actually a different error. Yeah, that this one might take me some time. Let's make this zero. See what happens. Okay. 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 So now let's do SQL plus slash sysdb. Right. Now let's just start up. Everybody, let's do start up p file equals Oracle home slash DBS slash init stage dot org. Oh, start up. Start up. It's too small. It needs at least 20 megabytes. Okay. I'm going to teach you guys that okay. next week. No, not yet. No. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Memory target needs to be one sixty four megabytes. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
One, two, three, bites. One, two, three, key. One, two, three. One seven. Yes, that's right. Problem fixed. Why did you guys quit? Why did you guys quit on me? Look at them. Quit us. Look at them. Look at them. Quit us. Look at that, they quit on me. Huh? I told you, any, anything that happens in this class, any, if you break anything, I'll fix it. Okay. You couldn't start with the database, could you? Right? i fix it then, right? But on the videos, don't worry, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna post this. It's gonna show how I just fixed it. He was, listen everybody, he was having an issue, right? With one of the parameters, everybody come back. I need you guys to come back, lazy students, look at them. All they want to sit down is just, what, they want me to suffer, right? Stand up, everybody, come on, come on, look. <laughs> lazy students, all right? Watch this. You guys are gonna have to understand what I'm talking about here, watch this, right? So, let's scroll up, let's start from the beginning, right? Let's start from the beginning. Can, can, can everybody see? Can everybody see? All right, watch this. Mr. Andre, when he did start up here, right? It said memory target not supporting on this system. Mm -hmm. There was something wrong with his memory target that was just messed up. So what I did was, okay, if he can't even start up, the first thing that you're gonna need to do is you're gonna have to create a P file. If you can't, what's the file that you need to do to start your database? What's the, first, what's the file that Oracle needs to read? It's your SP file. Now, your SP file is what? Is it binary or is it sta static? It's binary. It's binary. Meaning you can't edit it if you, even if you try. You can't read it and it's not going to make sense to you. So it has a little brother called what? The P file. You understand what I'm saying? So the next thing I did was, okay, so I created a, a P file from the SP file. Right? So the next thing I did was, okay, then I did exit. Did, once I create, you have to create a P file from the S, from in SQL. You see, it's real simple. I, I taught you guys how to do this. How to create a P file is what? Well. Create P file from SP file. Mm -hmm. Because I need to go edit something in it. Because I have no problem with one of these parameters, which is what? The memory target. Okay. Right? So once I did that, then I had to go to the location for my P file. No more, we're talking about what? The, the, the uh, init dot um, whatever stage. So when I did LS, right? I looked for the P file, right? Once you create a P file from SQL, it's going to put it right here. And it's called what? Init. Mm -hmm. Database name dot ORA, right? So I did what? VI init stage dot ORA. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it was having a problem with this. It was having a problem with this parameter. It was too small. At the end of the day, it was too small. Let me show you why. When I come here, when I came here. What do you mean it was too small? It as far as, no, no. The size. No, the size of, the, of, of what was put there was, was only four megabytes. Watch, you see it here. You see it, specify value. But that wasn't the original problem. That wasn't the original problem. So what I did was I made it zero. The original problem was this. The original problem was, where is it? Memory target not supported, exactly. right? So I, said, I, saw, I saw it at four megabytes. So I said, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna put zero. I'm gonna put zero for it. So watch this. I understand, right? I put zero. It said memory target not, not supported. That's okay. I know it's having a problem with this guy. So I said, you know what? Let me put a zero. It's not supported. Okay, let's just put zero. When I put zero, then the next thing I try to do is, I said, right? Start up P file, blah, blah, blah. After, after I put zero, then I saved it. Then I did start up P file, because watch this. I can't use the SP file anymore. Now I gotta use the P file to start up my database. You understand what I'm saying? So I did what? Startup P file equals Oracle home slash DBS slash the P file. Then it said, okay, now it's no longer having a problem with the memory target. I fixed that problem. <laughs> then it said, okay, specify value of SGA target. Four megabytes is too small. Needs to be at least what? 28 megabytes. 
So I said, okay, let me go back in there again. <laughs> so I did what? I went back here, and I looked here. If you look back down, this SGA target, when I looked at it, it only had like 4194304. You know, this is always in bytes, right? So I counted one, two, three bytes, one, two, three kilobytes. Mm -hmm. Then it was just a four. You understand what I'm saying? So I need, it's, it told me what, what needed. It said, look, dude, it needs to be at least 20 megabytes. So I made it 30. So it gave me just a little bit extra. You understand what I'm saying? So I changed that, and then I saved it. Once I saved that, and I came back here, you see the points of the P file? <laughs> right? No, so once I did that, and I saved it, then I did what? Start up what? P file equals Oracle underscore home slash DBS slash init stage, blah, blah. Then your database started, now it's open. So now, it's not completely done yet. Now, we have to go to back to the OS, and we have to delete our bad SP file. Watch this. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do ls. Right? I'm going to do ls. Right? I have to delete this SP file. It's no good. Right? It's no good. So I do what? Remove what? SP file stage dot what? Aura, right? Okay. So now the next thing I'm going to do is what? Right? I'm going to do single plus slash sysdb. See, I'm connected. Right? Connected successfully. So I do what? Select open underscore mode from v dollar what? Database. Database. Read write. We're good. But now watch this. We don't have an SP file right now. So we have to create what? An SP file from the P file. So what do you do? Create SP file from P file. You understand what I'm saying? Right? All right. So now when we do exit, then we go do LS. Is there now, right? So now, once we go back and we do SQL plus, let's shut down the database. Right? Let's shut down the database. Then the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to restart our database. And what's the default file that's going to look for? If it has to choose between the SP file and the P file, which one is it going to look for? Yes. SP file. So database is shut down. So now we're going to do what? Start up. Boom. Because the parameter is correct. Yes. Database started. Database mounted. Database open. 